Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 21st July, DRDU has successfully tested indigenous man portable anti tank guided missile with indigenous and much smaller IIR seeker. And now, Global Times, which is Chinese state mouthpiece, has released a photo of PLS soldier carrying HJ 12 man portable anti tank missile. The picture was reportedly taken during a training exercise organized by the PLA Tibet Military Command deep inside the Southwest Chinese Plateau in July 2021. Global Times has compared the Chinese HJ-12 with Javelin. As you might be aware, DIDU has also developed MP ATGM derived from NAG ATGM anti-tank guided missile. If we recall the standoff situation before February 2021, India has developed its T-90 BISM against Chinese lightweight Type 15 tanks. The tanks were merely at 500 meter distance from each other. In this kind of situation, the anti-tank missiles are going to play a very crucial role. In today's video, we look into the Chinese HJ-12 and its capability and will compare against the DRDO's indigenously developed MP ATGM. HJ-12, also known as Red Arrow 12, and DRDO's MP ATGM both are top attack, fire and forget, third generation anti-tank missiles. HJ-12 weight, including missiles and targeting site, is 22 kg, while that of DRDO's MP ATGM is 14.5 kg. HJ-12 has a range of 4 km in day and 2 km in night, whereas MP ATGM has an effective range of 2.5 km. As you can see, HJ-12 weighs significantly more than MP ATGM due to the longer missile used in it. However, due to its light weight, MP ATGM can quickly deploy in any part of battlefield and due to its very small profile, it is not easily detectable in the battlefield. Also, longer range ATGMs are not effective due to earth horizon and terrain. The HJ-12 is a cute with advanced focal plane array infrared guidance system with lock-on before launch and fire and forget system. HJ-12 also offers strong anti-jamming capabilities with more types of guidance systems. However, the Global Times did not make it clear which type of jamming system. The DRDU's MP ATGM is equipped with an advanced imaging, infrared sensor, and integrated avionics. Indian defense startup company Tonbo Imaging and Bharat Dynamics is developing a lightweight imaging infrared seeker with a cryogenic compressor for MP ATGM that uses real time artificial intelligence based image processing unit to help missiles reorient itself towards the most vulnerable section of the designated target to increase the kill probability. The Chinese media claims that the HJ-12 missile is capable of penetrating homogeneous steel armor as thick as 1100 mm protected by explosive reactive armor. The penetration range for the MP ATGM is greater than 650 mm. Clearly, Chinese HJ-12 seems to be heavier, more powerful than DRD's MP ATGM. However, we have always seen Chinese media believe in exaggerating things and at the same time, we always downplayed our capabilities and for obvious reason. However, we should never underestimate our enemy and their preparation need to be done by DRD to work on 4th generation MP ATGM with more penetration, power and range. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.